Right, this is the orgone setup I've used. What you've got here is a human sized orgone cabinet about six foot long. You've got the lid or the door panel taken off, put on the bottom. So you've got a double set of um, panels there. Then inside you've got a, an orgone box, an extra panel there, an extra panel there, a rather rough and ready looking orgone blanket, and an orgone acupuncture tube, which is a steel tube or iron tube, and surrounded by about 300 layers of cling film and aluminium foil. Then inside of that, you've got um, a small orgone blanket wrapped around the battery um, orgone accumulating device, which I'll show you now. So I'll grab that out. So th this is where I put the rechargeable nickel cadmium AA battery to charge. Um, this one. And a battery is a kind of orgone accumulating device in itself, but not a very strong one. Uh, and it had some masking tape on it, which might sort of slightly increase the charge. So that, that battery there was placed inside this 10 layers of plastic and plastic bag. 10 layers of plastic and aluminium foil with the battery in the middle wrapped up. Obviously with two hands I wrapped it up a bit better. And then that was wrapped up in the blanket and the whole thing was put inside the box the, the, the orgone accumulating box inside the orgone accumulating cabinet with the orgone acupuncture tube pointing at it and that, that was left there for a month that's just a stand that thing there um, so there was also a paper pyramid which I was experimenting with didn't seem to have any um, charge effect and a piece of organite and a crystal which also only seems to have fairly moderate charges on the experimental life energy meter. That's quite an old version but it's good enough to measure um, orgone charge as a, um, a deflection between 0 and 100. So that was the setup. I left it for a month and put a, the, this this battery was completely dead. Duracell nickel cadmium 1.2 volt rechargeable battery, about a couple of years old. Tested it in, in this clock here and it was completely dead. And then after one month of charging it in the setup in not in sort of British autumn time in sort of damp climate, so not ideal conditions. It then ran this clock, electronic battery operated 1.2 volt clock. It ran it for two days, um, well just over two days, because um, I, um, as you can see my notes there, uh, I, I set the, battery, the clock running at 11.20 um, 48 hours ago, just over 48 hours, and it ran that clock for two days. It, it just, I was just making a video previously about five minutes ago, and the clock stopped. So I, I've replaced the battery, but that, that clock was running for two days. I, I did notice that wh when it stopped, it stopped gradually, and if I put my hand near the clock, the, the orgone charge from my hand seemed to give it a little few extra bursts of life for a few seconds. So that that was, I was annoyed at first that it stopped after two days, but it, it does indicate, it does further indicate 
through it running again when my hand was was near it that it was all going to charge um, converting into electricity anyway so so that clock's now running on an ordinary battery but but this battery here was the one that was running it for 48 hours uh, and that battery was completely dead before charging for a month in the orgone setup I've just showed you. So if you want to replicate this kind of thing, um, minus the hound, you, um, you need 30 to 40 large um, accumulating panels. So that, that's counting all the large pieces of metal um, here and, and here and the panels. And I've got maybe another 10 to 20 layers of um, uh, some organ accumulating blanket and another 300 very fine layers in the tube and another um, well uh, another f three or four layers in the in the blanket inside there the, this I'll bring it out in that blanket and another and another 10 layers in that so you need a lot of layers I also um, put within perhaps within the extended field of that setup I've got a, um, a smoke alarm there which has got 0.9 microcuries of, of radioactive material in it. So three of those smoke alarms would equal about a thousandth of the radioactivity Reich used. And as you can see, there's a wall in between. And so the, it's possible the, the field from this setup, which I mean, I can feel the field from this setup six foot away easily so the field from the setup might interact from with the um, radioactive material in the hallway but it's very tiny and unlike Reich I, I haven't placed it actually inside the um, apparatus so I think the apparatus was would actually be strong enough on its own to charge the battery and the, the charging of the battery would also slowly have a gentle or an or effect from the electrical charge accumulating in the battery within the um, within the setup uh, is my guess um, anyway you can see on on my um, life energy meter my hand had a charge of about a deflection of about 0 to 70 um, the room um, was naught um the crystal varied about two to ten the organite varied around about ten um the outside of of the orgone setup say uh, all measured at a centimeter uh, the outside of the orgone setup varied around about 80 um then the the inside of the wall, a centimeter from from this inside wall, um, was about 90, 80 to ninety, and then inside the acupuncture um, accumulating box or the 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 inner box was um, higher than my hand, so the the, the inside of this setup. It had a, has a higher charge than coming off my hand, so pretty high charge. And that that charge for a month seemed to accumulate in the battery, and then that battery ran that clock for just over forty eight hours. And it's just five minutes ago run down and I've put a, an ordinary battery in. Uh, and there's the battery that was all going charged. 
once again.